So if people say, Rabbi, you, you, promoting Palm Sunday? I got a problem. It's historical. It did happen. Yeah. Amen? Amen. It did. We, what, what are we going to put our head in the sand and go, no, I'm Israel. It didn't happen. Mm. <laughs> 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 it did happen. I mean, we, you know, the, the church is not wrong about everything. They are right about that. He, he did enter Jerusalem. I mean, but why did he enter? He goes, check me out. He's saying to the Prashim and Sadducim, check, why were the Sadducees? Because they were very sad. You say, check me out. <laughs> check me out. No spot, no blemish. Which of you convicteth me of sin? So the, he was inspected for four days. And then Pilate and Judas and Kol HaKilot Yisrael, all the Kohanim said, all those in the Sanhedrin, all the Zichnei Yisrael said, we find no fault in him. Judas said, I betrayed an innocent blood. Pilate said, I wash my hands, I find no fault in him. Over and over for those four days, he was declared as the spotless Sahelahim. So starting tomorrow, Yahweh's given us four days to get the Chumets out of our lives. Listen, four days is plenty of time for Yahweh to work. Yes. You can even call a Jewish specialist. You, you even got no time to call a Jewish specialist. Um, and make a Monday appointment. I want a circumcision. You've got time. Yeah, I was giving you four days to get ready to eat. The, some of you men got to find a Jewish specialist. Mm -hmm. You don't need no doctor. You need a specialist. Mm -hmm. Trust me. A real specialist. Yeah. Yes. And if you need a referral, um, ah. Uh, R-R-O, we'll refer to Abraham's Referral Organization. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, business card will give you the, get everything. It's nice and clean. Yeah. Clean, clean, clean cut, no problem. Uh -huh. It's sharp for referral, sir. <laughs> 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 Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham Sharper referral service. <laughs> okay, now watch. Verse 7. I'm sorry, go back to verse 6. 1 Corinthians 5, we close with this. Your boasting is not good. What kind of boasting? Well, I've been taking communion for years. Nothing's happened. Can we talk? I mean, nothing's happened. It ain't going to happen. You're, it's already happened. Pa past tense. Do you not know that a little chamet brings chamet to the entire lump? Who's the entire lump? The body, the body of Yeshua, that's us. Your sin is not just affecting you, it's affecting all of us. We want to see you healed. We don't want to walk with a limp because you've come here and not among us. We want to walk together, whole together, healed together. Ble our bread blessed together, mm -hmm. our water blessed together. Yeah. We, want, we don't want Passover to be a time of condemnation because we failed to examine our lives before Yahweh. We want it to be a time of renewal and spring and life. We don't want to see any condemnation in the camp. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. A little chametz, chametz, the whole body, meaning what you haven't discerned before, what you better discern and get in your head before you take the, the matzah and the kos Yain is that your secret fornication, your secret uh, 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 bad language tongue, your secret hatred, your secret unforgiveness, your secret endeavors or lusts or whatever they may be, affects all of us. Because if one, if one member of the body hurts, what happens? The whole body hurts. Verse 7. Therefore, when you see the word therefore, what's the first thing that you should, you should go into your head? What is it there for? Very good. Therefore. Oh, well, okay. What is it there for? Cleanse out the old. Now, look, is he, is he talking to Jews or to Corinthians? Were Corinthians Jews or Israelites? Israelites. Well, Rabbi, my, 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 my last congregation told me that we can do this every Sunday, that we don't have to keep the feast. And that the Messiah came to do away with the law, really. Well, is it, are the Corinthians Jews or non Jews? Non Jews. Huh? Non Jews. Non -Jews. And what does Rashi say in verse 7? Non Jewish Corinthians, cleanse out the Chamates so you are a new what? Lump, as you are already 
unleavened in, in Yahweh's eyes. Meaning the blood of Yeshua has made you unleavened. So now why don't you start acting like you really are? You know what the problem with not living holy and not, and not searching for the chametz in our lives? The problem is, Yahweh already says, you are a new lump. Live like it. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You are Israel. Live like it. Hallelujah. You are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Live like you are cleansed. You don't eat the Passover lamb and drink the blood of the lamb to get cleansed. You drink it because you are cleansed. Amen. You're allowed to drink it without condemnation because you are already an unleavened lump. Live like it. Act like it. Don't give in. Don't compromise. Stand your ground. Hold your ground. Don't give an inch. Say, not one inch. Say, never again. Never again. Not one inch. No compromise. No double-mindedness. I'm a new lump. I'm holy and blameless. Yahweh loves me. He's invited me to his table. Now, because I have been invited to his table, I'm going to live right. Amen. Not I've got to live right to be at his table. I already have a place at his table. He expects me not to bring condemnation on the entire body, but to discern the body of Yeshua Amen. and how my behavior will affect others around me. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Verse 7. Therefore, cleanse out the old chametz, so you are a new lump, as you already are on leaven. <coughs> Who is Pesach for, brothers and sisters? It's for the clean. It's for the holy. It's for the forgiven. It's for the redeemed. Pesach is not... To get clean, it is a celebration of our purity. Amen. It is a celebration of our cleanness. It is a celebration of our holiness. It is a celebration of our ability to forgive that which we couldn't forgive five years ago. To let things go where we couldn't let things go. Yahweh has delivered us. Some of you were drunkards, extortioners, homosexuals. Some of you were darkness, but now you are light in Yeshua. And because you have been set free, now you are free to celebrate the master's body, discerning that you are a new lump and you're not supposed to act like the old lump. Hallelujah. See, the communion is for religious people. You get a little plastic cup, make it every Sunday and go home. What'd you do in church? I did, I did. What did you do? I drank. What'd you drink? You had a cup? Yeah, I had a cup. Had a cup. A cup of what? Juice, grape juice. Come on. We are in danger. Why? Because we are Israel. Amen. We are a new lump. Amen. That is making sense? Mm -hmm. But you don't understand, Rabbi. He, he keeps calling. Mm. Is he walking with Yeshua? Is he living for Yeshua? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something, but I'm not going to. I don't want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Don't come on. No, 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 no. Because somebody will think I'm talking at them, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to, I have nobody in mind. I'm talking about the body. The body, yes. come on, the body now. The body must act like a new lump. Mm -hmm. Not a lump on a log, but a new lump of, of what? A matzah. Mm -hmm. By the time Yeshua gets through with us, he sees us as matzah, mm -hmm. as unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know why we're allowed to eat of his body? Because we are bone, we are bone, and bone and flesh of His flesh. Amen. We are holy. You know why? You know you know how to overcome homosexuality. You know how to overcome perversion. You know how to overcome ganja. You know how to overcome that. Start being and living like Yahweh already says you are. Amen. Amen. Right. That's Yahweh right. says you're holy and blameless. Act like it. Yes. Live like it. Yes. Amen. Yahweh says you're Israel. Live like it. Amen. Right. Yahweh says, I'm okay, really. The world says, I'm not okay. My father rejected me. My mother rejected me. My husband rejected me. My wife rejected me. I'm a product of reject. Okay, well now I come to Yahweh Elohim, and I find the creator of heaven and earth saying, Hey man, you're okay. Amen. You mean, I gotta, what do I got to do for you? Nothing, you're okay. I love you. You're washing the blood. You're forgiven. You're holy and blameless before me in love. Now walk it out. 
Amen. So Torah is a waste of time. We don't use it to achieve Yahweh's acceptance. We, we, we shower Yahweh with obedience because we're already accepted in the beloved. Amen. We are already accepted in the beloved. We're okay now. We're clean now. So Yahweh says, now that you're a new lump, get the leaven out because any leaven that is in your life is not, is not proper for a new lump. Are you with me? So how does Yahweh see me right now? Holy and blameless, forgiven, pure, pleasing. Well, when I allow sin in my life, what happens? I'm allowing chametz, unleavened, leaven, uh, excuse me, leaven in my life. And what happens to my life? It starts floating and gets bloated. What happens when it gets bloated? It gets bloated with error, with wrongness, with pride, with incorrectness, with law-breaking, with bad things. So, so, so what does leaven do? What does yeast do? It puffs. It puffs. And what happens when, when we have someone walk into the camp that's puffed up, not just emotionally in pride, but also in their life? There's something that is protruding out of their life and it sticks out like a sore thumb. What happens? They're affecting the whole body. We're supposed to be the camp of the clean, the camp of the redeemed, the, the camp of the cleansed. But there's good news. Tomorrow is the 10th of Aviv. What, is it, what, what does the 10th mean? That's when the inspection begins. Mm -hmm. You've got four days. There's not one person in this room that should be drinking the cup and eating the, the master's body in an unworthy fashion. Because oh, Yahweh's given you four days. How long, does it take, how long does it take to get right with Yahweh? Two seconds. Yes. Two seconds. And he's given you four days. Mm -hmm. What a mean Yahweh. If we need two seconds to get right with Yahweh, and he's given us four days to think about all the, allow him to show us all things in our life that are not pleasing to him. Amen? Amen. Therefore, cleanse out the old leaven so that you are a new lump as you already are, are on a leaven. For Mashiach, our Pesach, was offered for us. Say that again. Moshiach, the Greek word for Pesach, is Pascha. Our Pascha has been offered. I mean, why are we supposed to act holy? Because our Pascha has been offered. Amen. I mean? Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now watch this. And this, this, this will put a nail in every religious coffin. Ready? <laughs> so then, he's talking to Jews or non-Jews? In, in Corinth. Is he talking to Jews or non-Jews? He's talking to Corinthians. Non-Jews. And he's saying, So then, let us observe the festival. Well, Rabbi, I'm not Jewish. I, 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 I'm not supposed to do Torah. He always says, no. He's writing to Corinthians. He's saying, let us observe the festival. Are these Jews? No. No. They're Ephraimites, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're Ephraimites. Mm -hmm. And he's telling the Ephraimites, you too, let us observe the festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Greek word for feast is Ioratasso. Ioratasso, the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew Moe. Ioratasso. Let us observe the feast, listen, not with the old leaven or the leaven of evil and wickedness, but the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So what's Yahweh looking for? Sincerity and truth in your search for leaven. He's not looking for perfection. He's, you're not, he's not going to find perfection. Four days is not going to get you perfect in Yahweh's eyes. He's not looking for perfection. He's looking for the look. He's looking if you're going to search. If you're going to search or you're just going to show up at Brian's house. In other words, Yahweh doesn't give you four days to get perfect and then come and eat the Pesach. He's not looking for perfection. Look what he's look, look at verse 8. Those who are ordained to eat the Pesach, to celebrate the Pesach, Ephraimites, Torah keeping Ephraimites and Corinth, he's saying, let us eat the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So what is Yahweh saying to us as we close? In your search, 
be sincere Amen. and truthful. Amen. If you're an adulterer, admit it. If you're angry, admit it. If you're walking in unforgiveness, admit it. If you have a, 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 an addictive spirit that's, that's tormenting your life, admit it. So Yahweh's not looking for perfection. He's looking for the bread of sincerity and truth. Because if you're sincere and truthful in your search, then you can eat the Passover lamb with a pure heart. Is anybody getting this? Yeah. Or am I preaching to the choir? No way. So if you, what you're hearing today is the rabbi saying we got to be perfect and we got to stay home. You haven't heard a word I said. I didn't say you got to be perfect. You and I are going to come to Pesach with a lot of faults and a lot of flaws. But the bread Yahweh is looking for is a surge in sincerity and truth so that when you pull those things out of your life that you know are wrong, he'll pull the things out that you don't know are wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pull the things out of your life that you know are wrong, He'll pull the things out of your life that you don't know are wrong. Amen. But if you're not, if you're not going to give him bread for Pesach that is, that is unleavened, meaning in your search for leaven, you've been sincere and truthful. Because you know what the greatest kind of lie and deception is? Lying to yourself. Mm -hmm. yep, oh, I don't have a problem. You should, and you know you do. Well, I'm okay, and you know that things are not okay. You're disobeying the word of Yahweh. You're sinning. You're walking against Torah. Oh, oh, I'm okay, but you don't really have a love for Yahweh. You're living for Yahweh because Grandma's making you. You listen, you listen, sweetheart. Yahweh has no grandchildren. You're gonna have to learn to love Yahweh yourself with all your heart, not a borrowed heart. That's right. Yes. With all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. Amen. So what is Yahweh looking for this, this year? He's looking for us to come to Brian's house on Wednesday, having completed an examination, a what? A um, dokimaso that was sincere and truthful. Amen. He's not looking for perfection. He's going to have 120 imperfect Israelites at the table Wednesday night. Amen. But the things that you do know of, are you willing to leave and forsake those, discerning the body of Yeshua, and not drinking damnation to yourself. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, Abba Yahweh. I want we are Israel to come forth, please, today, this afternoon. Oh, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. And to queue up Seha Elohim, if you would, please. Father, we thank you this day as we begin the four days of the Bidikat Chamet, the search for Lemon Chamet. Abba Yahweh, that we would be so joyful and thankful for this opportunity to forgive, to love in word and in deed, to end any kind of murdering spirit with our mouth, with our heart, with our tongue. For this key lot to come together in Mikra Kodesh and Holy Assembly with no private nibbling, no private menus, no private catering, no prima donnas, no exceptions. Father, use this time as you said you would in Shemot 23 to bless our matzah, to bless the waters of Pesach, the waters of Rahab, the waters of cleansing, the same waters that were so blessed that night Yeshua took those waters and washed the feet of the Talmudim. And so, Father, we give you all call a I want every eye closed, please. I want no one looking around. No one looking around. I want every eye closed, please. To that of our Yahweh. To that of our Yahweh. I want every eye closed, please. Let the search begin right now. Let the search begin right now so that by the 14th of Aviv, 
you could come to the Pesach of Yahweh and receive wholeness and receive healing. I'm going to ask Roberta, where's Roberta? Give me Roberta. Roberta.